What are some of the tactics of shaitan? What are some of the ways that he uses to cause us to commit a mistake? The first of them is the gentlest one. And because it is so gentle, Allah Azza wa has forgiven it if Iblis is successful. And that is the way of forgetfulness. Shaitan caused me to forget. And at times, Shaitan causes you to oversleep Fajr. If you really forgot, then Allah forgives you. You just make it up in your personal life. There's no sin on you. But this is of the tactics of Shaitan. You're supposed to pray Dhuhr. You look at the time and say, oh, two hours left, inshallah, I'll pray. Then Shaitan comes, check this email, do this, do that. Next thing you know, it's Asr time. Astaghfirullah, I missed it. If you genuinely had the intention, this is a tactic of Shaitan. Blame Shaitan, say, A'udhu Billah min shaitan rajim Take precautions for next time and then move on. Of the tactics of Iblis is to catch you at a point of weakness to see, monitor. Maybe you metaphorically put your foot on a slippery slope. And right when it was a slippery slope, he pushed you a little bit more. You were in a situation of weakness. And if you were on your own, you would have overcome that weakness. But Iblis comes and Iblis pushes you metaphorically. Iblis causes you to slip. Allah says in the Quran about the battle of Uhud and about the fact that some of the companions withdrew when they should not have withdrawn. Allah says, shaytan. shaytan caused them to slip. You learn from the mistake and you move on. The third tactic, which is the most common tactic of shaitan, is waswasa. And waswasa means to whisper into our soul, to give us ideas and thoughts that we would not otherwise have. Waswasa here means he will literally implant ideas. Every one of us, sometimes we think of something and then we say, Astaghfirullah, where did that idea come from? Where did this evil thought come from? And it is not from us. It is shaitan putting ideas into our heads. Shaitan has the capacity. Shaitan has the physical capability of whispering into our soul. Just like humans can whisper into the ear, shaitan can whisper into the soul. Shaitan cannot read your mind, by the way. But shaitan can see you're alone and you have the opportunity to steal some money. Waswasa. You're alone and there might be a non mahram. Waswasa. He will give something in your mind and head or will entice you. Keep on putting something. Why don't you do this? Do this, do this until it becomes something constant in you. This is one of the tactics of shaitan. The fourth tactic of shaitan is zakhrafa, to make something more alluring than it actually is. And he employed this tactic with our father Adam. It was a normal tree. And shaitan added some free deals, complete lies. If you eat of this tree, you will get eternal life. If you eat of this tree, no pain and suffering. No doubt it was a sweet fruit, it's from Jannah. But this added lies, this beautification, this blatant false marketing, this is shaitan. And shaitan always markets falsely. All of his marketing is blatant lies. He will come and make something more alluring or more tempting than it actually is. Or maybe even it's not even tempting at all, but he will make you think it is tempting. And this is something we find it in the hadith that our Prophet wasallam said that when a person of the opposite gender leaves the house, shaitan makes that person look more beautiful than that person actually is. You think that person is more beautiful than that actually is. And you start feeling waswasa. And that's why our Prophet wasallam said, SubhanAllah, if you feel something about somebody you shouldn't feel then go to your spouse go to your halal partner because in reality what the other person has your other partner has as well it's just shaitan making you think oh this one is 10 times more beautiful or 10 times more handsome whereas in reality this is from the waswasa and the zakhrafa of shaitan so we learn this is a tactic of shaitan don't buy the false promises of shaitan don't fall prey to the marketing of shaitan shaitan is a liar he does nothing Nothing but lie. So when you see the forbidden fruit, when you see that which is haram, and shaitan comes and makes you feel, oh, this is this and that, realize this is the lies of shaitan. It's not that tempting. It's not that sweet. It's not that beautiful. In reality, this is the zakhrafa of shaitan. Of the tactics of shaitan is to make you feel scared of something. Takhweef. And the Quran mentions this, that This is shaitan making his allies and followers feel scared. Don't fear them, only fear me. And of the classic examples is the hadith mentions this. When we want to give charity, shaitan will come and say, don't be a fool, your family needs you. If you give charity, you will be poor. Don't be a fool, you're going to become poor when you're generous to others. This is a scare tactic. 
And of course, we are told to be moderate in our giving. We are not giving everything, but neither are we supposed to be stingy. And shaitan comes and doesn't want us to give anything. And this is something very explicit in the Quran that shaitan yaidukum al faqr. Shaitan threatens you, you're going to be poor. Don't give to charity. And Allah Azza wa Jalla says, I am promising you, you shall be, mashallah, aghniya, meaning you will have the wealth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will have the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of the tactics of shaitan as well, and this is of the most evil tactics, is that he causes certain people to speak without knowledge and to misguide others. It's one thing to be misguided yourself, but there are people whose profession is to misguide others. They are shayateen in human form. Prophet said that there are people calling to Jahannam shayateen fi surat al ins. They are shayateen in human form, meaning shaitan is any entity that is misguiding you from the true path. And there are shaitans of the jinn and there are shaitan of the ins. Anyone who is calling you to disobey Allah, anyone who is trying to get you away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is a type of shaitan. And shaitan has allies, he has representatives, he has salesperson for his merchandise amongst us. And these salespeople, they tell you to embrace evil, they tell you to give up religiosity, they make fun of religiosity, they say if you are religious, you are backward, if you pray, you're gonna give up your career and these are people sometimes you are mesmerized by their speech sometimes you think they are the most intelligent but you cannot be intelligent if you don't know the purpose of your life you are not wise if you haven't figured out what you're doing on this earth doesn't matter what degrees you have and how much income you have if you don't know the purpose of your life then all of your wealth is meaningless so be careful and don't fall prey to the whisperings of the human shayateen they're trying to beautify it and sell it to you. This is of the tactics of shaitan. And the final point we'll mention, which is so pertinent to our communities, of the explicit tactics of shaitan, is to disunite the ummah and to cause friction between brothers and cousins, between people of one family, between people of one community, between people of the kalima. This is explicitly mentioned in the Quran. Inna shaytana yanzaghu baynahum. Shaytan causes disharmony between them. What did shaytan do with Yusuf and his brothers? Min ba'di an nazagha shaytanu baini wa bi'an ikhwati. Shaytan caused me and my brothers to fall into this fight. And Allah Azza wa Jal mentions that shaytan wants you to gamble and shaytan wants you to drink. Why? Why does shaytan want you to do this? Inna ma yuridu shaytanu an yuqa'a baynakum al-adawatu wal-baghda. Shaytan wants you to fight and get into to problems when you are drinking, when you're gambling. Shaitan wants to break up the ummah. So anytime you see a breakup happening, anytime you see that you're falling out from a friend, from a family member, that a community is breaking apart, realize Shaitan is getting happy. We know from the hadith as well, Shaitan loves to break up a couple that's married. It's one of the biggest tactics of Shaitan. He wants to cause divorce. Shaitan loves to break people up, whether they're couples, whether they're families, whether they're communities. And this is one of the worst and most evil tactics of shaitan we have to be on our guard against them brothers and sisters and be aware of the tactics in order to combat shaitan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless me and you with and through the quran and may he make us of those who his verses they understand and applies halal and haram throughout our lifespan i ask allah's forgiveness you as well ask him for his the ghafoor and the rahman allah, 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 allah.